Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zed for me, and today what we're gonna be doing with the Golf R is putting on a resonator delete. So I wanted to show two things about this resonator delete. One is that you can actually just do it in your own driveway. You don't need to bring it to a dealership or a garage to actually help you have it fitted. It should be actually pretty simple um, if you have the right tools, which is basically an exhaust pipe cutter. Um, and those probably run about $20, $30. Um, and you'll be able to actually cut out the part of the exhaust that you need to and replace it with the um, resonator delete. That and of course I want to show you guys the difference in sound. Um, so what I've done is I've put um, a tripod with a GoPro on it and the point of this is basically um, to hopefully capture um, exactly before and after what the car sounds like um, at idle, at uh, cold start, as well as revving it up to its rev limiter um, while it's um, idle, which is uh, 4,000 RPM. I'm pretty sure that uh, after I install this resonator delete that a lot of its effects will probably um, be heard in person much better than it will on camera, I understand that. Um, there are plenty of videos of people doing this resonator delete. It works for the Audi um, S3 as well as the Mark 7 Golf R. Um, they utilize the same drivetrain. And essentially what I've gotten is the Audi S3 um, resonator delete kit. Um, it was about $200 and um, let me show you guys um, its unboxing. All right, so what I have here is the box that the resonator delete actually comes in. Um, basically, it, all you get is really an exhaust pipe with two clamps on it and um, an exhaust hanger which allows it to mount into the original location. I guess just first impressions of this particular um, product. Uh, it is quite heavy, but I'm sure that the resonator that it replaces is much heavier. So really the installation process is pretty simple. Um, you find the piece under the car that um, is in place of this. You cut it out and you slide the clamps over and then tighten it down and that should basically be it. Um, so the only tool that you'll actually need is an exhaust pipe cutter and let me show you that. So this here is an exhaust pipe cutter. Essentially what it does is it wraps around um, the exhaust kind of like in circular pattern and it gives you a clean cut because you clamp it down and you just keep twisting until the exhaust pipe um, completely gets cut off. Now of course you could use like a hacksaw or any sort of way to get it off but this is definitely the product that you want to get if you want to get the best clean cuts. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my car onto the ramps, um, look under the car, figure out exactly where I need to be um, cutting out the original um, resonator, and then I'll be trying to fit this in. So these are the instructions that come in a box. Um, they're basically just pictures, but what they do is they give you a couple of tips in terms of lining up um, the resonator delete with the actual resonator box and um, they give you a couple tips on how to make sure you get the cut in the right spot so that these, um, the resonator delete will actually fit properly. Um, now, they give you a couple of warnings as well as you know, showing you the tools um, and how you should be removing the um, actual uh, resonator. Um, however, the idea is actually just pretty simple. Um, it's just cutting it out, replacing it, and then putting those uh, pipe clamps that's basically it all right so we are now underneath the car and um, this is the resonator delete basically it's going to sit somewhat like um, let's see like this all right so basically what we're gonna have to do is take off this uh, pipe clamp that's already there and that I'm tapping on right now uh, move it back mark exactly where I have to cut it um, cut it on both sides and basically um, put the pipe clamps over that. Uh, shouldn't be too hard, but definitely uh, measure twice, cut once sort of thing. Let me get those uh, pipe clamps off on that side first and then I'll see exactly where this will line up. Now I am making my life a little bit harder because I didn't jack up my car too high, but um, all I did was ramps. I did want to show you guys that it is possible to do this mod without really having a lift. Um, now looking at these old uh, pipes, it looks like there's already rust building up on them, uh, but this is kind of expected when you live in New York and the weather we get is not the best. So if your car is now a little bit older, maybe you know, you're buying a used um, 
Volkswagen Golf R or an Audi S3 and you want to um, make sure you have the best success at taking this clamp off I would suggest probably spraying it with a little bit of penetrating lubricant maybe the night before you do this project um, otherwise you might find yourself dealing with some sort of uh, seized bolt and stuff like that I think I'll be okay um, I guess we'll find out now before I completely take this pipe clamp off um, I'm gonna mark actually the middle of this pipe clamp um, there's a little hole maybe I'll just use some uh, permanent marker just so that I know where the original pipe clamp sat and I'll have to see if um, that's exactly the spot that I'm gonna be using the um, exhaust pipe cutter on alright so now as you can see I've been able to mark out exactly um, where the original pipe clamp sat and um, I think I'm not 100% sure um, I'll basically be cutting it at that point and then using the new pipe clamp so now I'm just in the process of sliding this uh, pipe clamp over um, and seeing exactly where I should be cutting I think all right I guess I don't even need to cut but let me use something to make sure that that side is supported while uh, instead of just hanging there all right now I basically have to see if um, if this new resonator delete actually lines up in the same exact spot that this cut was if so you know this is just gonna fit like right into there as I expect it will um, let me see if the hanger actually lines up in the same spot and I think it does that's what's nice about buying the um, straight from Audi this pipe was about like $200 so yes it kind of is an expensive uh, pipe uh, just an exhaust pipe you know that you could see right through you know there is nothing inside of it and that's the whole point of it um, however you know you're paying for an OEM uh, Audi product and that's why it's $200 however I do like the fact that uh, it's not too hard and I can just line it up and same thing on this side as well I'm guessing I could just uh, after I line it up cut out the exhaust um, on this side alright so I'm gonna use a permanent marker and mark where I have to cut out the resonator on this side and then I'll start using the exhaust pipe cutter I'm curious to see how much the um, resonator actually weighs um, so to see if there's like a difference in the weight um, let's see so looks like that lines right up um, basically just eyeballing it but um, that's where I'm gonna use the exhaust pipe cutter the exhaust pipe cutter is pretty intuitive to use you basically just wrap the um, tool around the pipe with the tool actually um, in the open position um, and then you just basically hook it in as best as you can maybe like let's see like that and you know once you actually clamp down it will uh, you'll, you'll feel it get tighter and tighter and once once you grab it hard enough you just kind of twist back and forth like this so what I'm gonna do is just do this rocking motion until basically the entire uh, resonator will fall out all right here we go so far I can already see a very clean cut forming and it's just gonna be a matter of rocking this back and forth trying to make sure I stay in the same spot once you get it in the groove, you can already tell and hear that it'll be digging into the same exact spot over and over again in a very nice cut. And it's just a matter of waiting now as I continue to get deeper and deeper and the tool gets more and more closed. This is actually really tiring and uh, I'm probably gonna have to uh, keep going at this for a little bit longer. I see it getting deeper and deeper. It's just uh, a lot of like little shavings come off. Um, 
and I think you know this is probably pretty thick exhaust uh, gauge so that's why uh, I'm like getting really exhausted from using this exhaust pipe cutter that's okay though got to keep at it all right I think I'm through um, we'll take a look if this uh, if I remove the uh, hanger on the other side if this will actually come off. Just missing a little bit of clean cut, but overall, you can actually see how clean of a cut this is, right? Really straight, so that if I ever want to reverse this mod, it won't be a problem. All right, let's try and get this uh, old resonator out and the new resonator delete in. Well, that got it off, finally. Let's take this out. All right, so that took a while, but there you have it. This is obviously the resonator, and this is the resonator delete. Everything lines up perfectly, like so. As you can see, the edges are exactly where they need to be on both sides, and the hangers line up. So this will get put in, and this is taken out. And uh, before we do that, let's see how much this thing weighs. All right, so let's put this up on here. This thing weighs uh, almost 10 pounds. So nine and let's say 13. Nine pounds, 13 ounces. This can stay here. All right, <laughs> let's see. This weighs two pounds and 13 ounces. So you're essentially saving yourself eight pounds with this modification and getting better sound. That's what you get for paying $200. I know it's kind of pricey, but um, at the same time, you are getting an OEM Audi product. So um, I think that makes it worth it. So let's slip this in there um, with the new um, pipe clamps and uh, we should be securing it in and be ready to go. Pretty easy slipping the hanger on. Now connecting one side. I'm gonna turn this kind of like that so that it's uh, number one easy to access, but number two, um, hit oh that ow that hurt. All right, shoot, <laughs> that hurt. All right, um, so at first, all right, so this trying to find the center I pulled it a little bit too far but basically about an inch or so oh perfect right here I'm gonna turn it a little bit maybe this direction is best yeah I'll probably do it like this and then putting on the other side and instead of using like the new one I'm gonna use the original I don't think there's any issue with using the original. If you guys know that there is an issue with using the original, please let me know and I will definitely come in and swap it. But it seems like you can use the original because it looks exactly the same to me. I'm just going to tighten down this side first and then I'll tighten down the other side. On this side, I'm just going to find where I had my permanent marker, um, which is exactly where it is right now, and I'm going to tighten it back down. Alright, I think that's it. So I'm just going to give you a view of everything as I remove all the tools from underneath the car. Um, obviously, this is the uh, OEM exhaust muffler setup. Um, I may be replacing this depending on whether or not the resonator makes a big difference. Um, so let's move back. This is where I made the exhaust cut and uh, put on the new clamp. And then this is obviously the resonator delete. Moving further back, OEM, uh, OEM clamp um, all the way down to eventually the um, downpipe. 
So as you can see, the um, when you pay for OEM, there's the exhaust hanger that goes exactly where it needs to go. Of course, a custom muffler shop would be able to do this for you as well. I have called up some shops and I think they could do it for cheaper, but basically I went with the OEM product, the OEM Audi um, product, because I think that uh, the um, heftiness, the, the gauge that they use in the um, exhaust pipe will be better than what a muffler shop would give you, thus um, helping out with the drone. But um, I'll definitely give a review in a little bit and we'll see what kind of difference this, um, this mod makes. So as you guys just heard there, that was the sound after the resonator delete. Um, basically, I didn't really notice too much of a difference um, revving it in neutral. So let's go out for a drive and see if there's any difference. All right, so let's go out for a drive and uh, see what it's like. Like I said, just on startup and I think um, just normal revving when the car is in neutral, I don't really see too much of a difference, um, but hopefully uh, when I'm actually putting it in gear and actually revving it out, it'll make a difference. Let's see. So, so far, kind of just regular driving. I don't really notice too much of a difference. The way that I decide whether or not my mods really made any significant difference other than just placebo effect is basically if uh, my wife can tell that I did this mod without me ever telling her. So we'll see. So let's open her up a little bit. All right. So far, not too much of a difference. I wonder if the car sounds different on the outside. It's definitely not a night and day difference when you first get in it. say so far sitting in the car it doesn't really seem like there's too much of a difference um, if you guys are hearing a difference on camera maybe you guys can tell me but I'll definitely review the footage and see if the car sounds different on the outside my guess is obviously that it does because obviously you know I did a modification but it's definitely not as drastic as I thought it would be Like, it's probably a placebo effect. I think I hear the turbos a little bit more. If the car does sound better on the outside, um, I'd be pretty happy too, because honestly, I'm a little bit jealous of some cars that just sound amazing when they pass by me. Um, so hopefully, you know, it makes a difference on the outside. But um, if I told my wife that I did this mod, I'm not so sure if she would actually believe me.
So overall, I guess you could say I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I know a lot of people love this mod and I'd like to hear the reasons why you guys love it so much. Um, for you guys, maybe you guys heard more of a difference than I do, or maybe I just expected too much, um, which is totally possible as well. Maybe I have to go back to stage one to make use of this mod and to actually hear um, things a little bit louder. I'm not really sure. Uh, but uh, some mods that I definitely have planned for this car is the DSG tune because um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to release a video soon um, about the update in terms of my uh, visit to the dealership. I'll let you guys know how that visit went, but basically what I'm going to be doing is going with the Eurodyne um, DSG tune to help with the um, transmission issues that um, I have with this car. So after reviewing the footage, the car is definitely louder um, on the outside. Even listening to the exhaust while I'm revving in neutral and the door is open, I can hear that there is definitely a difference. So I guess the conclusion of the video is that this mod definitely makes the car louder on the outside. It definitely makes it sound meaner. Um, but inside the car, you won't, you won't really notice too much of a difference. Um, the only difference you're really going to notice is perhaps a little bit of more turbo noise. I don't know if that's placebo. Um, it most likely is. Um, however, on the outside, um, for the people around you, the car is definitely going to sound uh, a lot better, in my opinion at least. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, for example, how to do this mod or you just have any questions in general, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching as always. I'm Zed for me and I'll see you guys next time.